Hello, so good to meet you at our global motivational meeting. We are reading World Scriptures book. This uh, God's word that inspires billions of people, families, communities, countries, and the whole world. And we help you to just read this code and practice a new daily life. As we're reading this uh, holy book from the beginning, please find all the chapters of our message billion channel. Turn on suggestion playlist and listen God's words all day. Stay blessed. So let's see what God prepared for us today. Humility and self-denial. Humility and attitude of humility is essential on the path to God. Any self conscious uh, whether not read, uh, by superior intelligence, wealth, uh, high status, or afraid of others is an obstacle blocking away. Genuine humility requires constant willingness to deny oneself, to be critical of uh, oneself, to endure hardship, to without complaint, and to be open to heaven's uh, guidance even when it differs from one's um, preconceived uh, concept. Humility requires sincerity and honesty. Thus, some passages like the humble person to a little child, uh, whose natural spontaneous and the acceptance of life is the antithesis of the often complicated personality of the adult, which uh, it's uh, many with many test masks, uh, hidden resentments and prejudices. Other scriptures teach us to cultivate humility by meditating on the insignificant class of and transient of the human being, who is nothing but a puff of wind, a bag of excrement, food for worms. Here too is the paradoxal wisdom that the humble and self-effacing person ultimately prospers and wins more respect from others than the person who is arrogant and powerful. We have the example of Jesus, who took the path of humility to triumph over the devil's most deadly attack. But the moon explained this in terms the principle that the humility being in accord with the original way of the life in Eden align us uh, with God uh, and his creative power, while arrogance places us in Satan's camp, ultimately a losing cause. In another passage, he alludes uh, to the natural cycle of rise and fall, where arrogance places us at the peak of, of the cycle, where the only way forward is to decline, while humility places us at the bottom where all roads lead upward. Blessed are the meek. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Successful indeed are the believers who are humble in their prayers and who shun vain conversation and who are prayers of the poor doer and who guard their modesty. If you desire to obtain help, put away pride. Even a hair of pride shuts you off as uh, if by a great cloud. Be humble, be harmless, uh, have no pretension, be upright, uh, forbearing, serve you, teacher, in true obedience, keeping the mind and body in tuning, yes, tranquil, steadfast master of ego, standing apart from the things of the sense, uh, from free from self, aware of the weakness in mortal nature. All men are children of Adam, and Adam was created from soil. Be of uh, an exceedingly humble spirit, for the end of man is the world. O oh Lord, uh, that is man that thou dost regard him, or the son of man that thou dost think of him. Man is like a breath, his days are like a passing shadow. Father, the Lord God's from the second time, Messiah, Father, Son, and Moon, uh, God's love dwells upon the foundations 
of uh, meekness, humility, fasting, uh, sacrifice, and even martyrdom. The higher the religion, the less is uh, it uh, stresses uh, the self, and the more it stresses meekness, uh, humility, and one step further sacrifice and service. Why must it do that? Those are the laws of the original homeland. People are like uh, wanderers uh, searching for their original homeland. To train people in the laws of that homeland, the highest religion teach the way of sacrifice. Satan's uh, basic nature is arrogance and proud. Uh, that is the way he deals with people in the world. Jesus, on the other hand, came before the people with the meekness and humility. Satan ultimately acknowledged Jesus because he knew that the humility is in accord with the heavenly law. When you act with gentleness and humility, the satanic world naturally surrenders. Jesus knew this principle and therefore he assumed the posture of gentleness and humility. You too can open up a new way to teach, to reach God. When uh, you remain always gentle and humble, examine yourself. Are you living by Jesus' teaching of uh, gentleness and uh, humility, meekness and obedience and uh, sacrifice and service? If you are not practicing these teachings, you give you a new daily life, know that you still belong to Satan's life. I examined the book of uh, life in heaven. I saw that people whose name are recorded in that book were all simple and lovely. Millionaires, famous preachers and politicians are not found there. The garden of Eden not, is not a world filled with the uh, It is uh, not a world where people promote uh, themselves, but a world full of humility and love. How can we hold on to invalidity? There is no one part of us that we can claim as our very own. When we were conceived from our parents' love and drew the beginning from our mother's womb, 99 and 99% of our being was our mother's own blood and flesh, and the other 001% was added from our father's sperm. No one of the time of the adult has the concept, I belong to myself. At the fall, evil began first and rose up. So we must carry out a strategy to push evil down and pull goodness up. How uh, shall we carry this out? First, we must take control of our organs. The fall occurred when the Archangel Lucifer and the human beings uh, pushed God aside and attempted to elevate themselves. Arrogance was Satan's original nature. Arrogance is the desire to elevate oneself without regard of law to law, discipline, obligations, or the effect of the surrounding around it is the desire to live unconstrained by justice or law how do we describe a person who lives in accordance with the law do we say he is arrogant no we say he or she is an honest person we must put the stop to behavior that uh, ignores uh, the law and the uh, regards of one's position and surroundings. We must uh, suppress arrogance and take on the quality of humility. When you are in the high position, there is no way to unite your mind and body. It is better to let yourself be stepped on. God has trampled on the knee for 40 years, lest I get above myself. As you are step one, those elements in you that they want to exalt themselves as smashed and brought back to unity. Do you understand this? You should be cursed, the trumpet on them, on and mistreated, just like 
the vanguard bamboo had him. Regardless of uh, how you are treated, you should discover the self that can accept all these tribulations gratefully. I never ask him for blessing in my prayer. I never say, God, please give me some money. I thought that I need to suffer more since I had not undergone enough hardship. God likes such thinking. So powerful quotes for today. If you have difficulties, please watch one more time this video, share this video as we end this billion happy life, subscribe to the smartphone, contact me for consultation, cooperation, and become a member of this family parent story community globally. The contacts are below. Stay happy, healthy, turn on suggestion playlist, and choose the best one and listen God's words. Stay blessed all day. See you tomorrow with more powerful quotes. Yours, Nikolai Serpao. Bye bye.